Benton campaigners travelled down to London on Sunday at a bid to save their town hall. 20 protesters paid their respects and laid wreaths to the 498 lost Benton soldiers during the First World War. Petition organiser Alan Gerrard says the government's actions are not in the best interest of the town. What they're doing is abandoning Fenton. Uh, so we've come down to London to make it clear that you know, the people of Fenton aren't going to stand for this sort of callous attitude that the Ministry of Justice in particular are showing. They value the lives of the men on that memorial in terms of pounds, shillings and pence. And we really think that's a, a disgraceful attitude. The campaigners headed to Downing Street to hand in their petition, which boasted over 10,000 signatures. We really do feel as though this is one of the most hypocritical things that uh, the government could be doing at this point in time. To spend £50 million commemorating World War I and what soldiers went through, the sacrifices they made, and then to completely abandon 498 men from Fenton is absolutely, absolutely disgraceful. It went, it went as we expected really, uh, just handed in the petition. Uh, I mentioned the fact to the uh, attendant that we felt that it was very unfair that the government is spending £50 million on World War I commemorative events and at the same time abandoning 498 World War I heroes in Fenton. Uh, we've got a memorial there that's at serious risk of demolition and the government are not willing to engage in any kind of dialogue in terms of saving it. The historic building is set for auction towards the end of the year with the Ministry of Justice setting a price tag of £500,000. Sarah Harrison reporting for Staffs Live. We will